My name's Holly Bell, I'm a family recipe writer and Sainsbury's have asked me to come here today to meet Nicola. Hi Holly. Now I hear you've got a bit of a party going on this evening. Yes, I do. I've got some very good close friends coming round. I'm doing nibbles and drinks and would love some help. I've got a really good idea for something that's quite easy with a real wow factor. It's going to be a little tiny Yorkshire pudding with horseradish, then roast beef and then a bit of watercress Beautiful. on top. Beautiful, sounds amazing. So the first thing to do is to get the oven preheated to a really high temperature because okay. that's going to make sure that that batter really rises in the oven. So if you wouldn't mind popping the oven on to 220 degrees Celsius, that's 200 in a fan, or if you're on gas, that's seven. We need about half a teaspoon of vegetable oil in every one of these little holes in this muffin tray. Okay. So start pouring it in. Right, if you wouldn't mind popping that into the oven, we'll wait for that to get nice and hot. Now we're gonna make the batter. I've got 40 grams here of plain flour. So just throw that in there. And that's great. Getting it nice and high is really good because it's adding as much air as possible. It's all gonna make those little Yorkshire puddings rise up. Perfect. I'm gonna throw a little pinch of salt in there as well. Now, we need to make a little well in the middle and this is just making a little space for the egg. This egg has been left out, it's at room temperature. It will help to make your Yorkshire puddings rise better than getting it straight out of the fridge. Oh, right. so, so if you use the whisk to sort of swirl that round and break the yolk up, really go round the side to make sure you get everything in because any little lump or bump will show in the final thing. Really smooth batter makes for the best Yorkshire puddings. That looks great, look at that. Now, the last thing to do is to add in 50 mils of semi-skimmed or whole milk. I wouldn't use skim just because the water content right. is so high. If you want to mix it, I'll add it a little bit at a time. We'll do it okay. as a team. Okay. This will definitely make 12 little Yorkshire puddings. Right, the oil's been in the oven now for about 5-10 minutes, so okay. if you wouldn't mind checking it. So this is the bit where you shouldn't hang around, okay? okay. So we've got half a tablespoon measure here. Now obviously stand back a little bit because it might spit because it's really hot oil. So they're all full now. Main thing is not to hang around because we don't want the oil to get too cold. They go straight back into the oven. Right, it's been about 15 minutes. Should we go and check on yep. the Yorkshire puddings? Look at those, wow. The important thing to do at this point is to get them out of the oil as quickly as you can. So it is obviously hot, but you can usually pick them up just at the corners. Look at that one. Oh, he looks good. He looks really good. He's gone really crazy like that, although he's lost his hole in the middle. If that happens, what we can do later on is put our finger into the middle and sort of poke a hole, and okay. then we can stuff it full of filling. Oh, that sounds really good. So now the Yorkshire puddings are pulled, I'll just give you the horseradish for you to pop a little bit into each one of these. And I've just got some beef here, which, you know, is just sliced, ready-bought like this, but you could use leftover roast beef if you had that. And then I've got some watercress as well. So easy. It looks really fantastic they on the plate. like they come from a packet. Which no. I think, if you're going to go to the trouble of making your own, you want them to look homemade, don't you? Which one's your favourite? Um, I think it's the biggest one just there. <laughs> I like that, girl after my own heart. 